so then in this video we are going to solve number of island problem in the last video we have discussed about how to traverse a graph using bfs this problem is commonly asked in interview or the coding round of top mnc so do watch out the complete videos to understand this problem in a better way and understand how to uh, tell the solution to the interviewer so now let's jump to the problem so in this problem we have a m cross and 2d binary grid in which we have a 1 and 0 where 1 represents the land and 0 represents the water and we have to represent the number of islands so if you see this example just to understand the problem statement in better way the best way to understand the problem statement by watching the example okay so here if you see 1 1 1 1 so if i say then this is the complete one island this is the complete one island where this one is land one is land so this land is connected so we have to find all the collected uh, connected land so here i can say my answer will be one there is one island and in this example if you see this is one island this is second island and this is third island and how this island are connected the uh, island are connected in the four directions in the top down left right so if you see you may assume all four edges of the grid are surrounded by the water so we can say uh, we have to return the number of island or the number of connected land so how to solve this problem so what we are going to do is uh, let's uh, understand uh, from this example uh, let's remove this so what we are going to do is we will start traversing from this one and we will go to all possible four direction and check is it one or not if it is one we will mark it zero and uh, let's say if i i start from this zero I start from this one and this is one if this is one then I will go to all of its four directions so I will go this one now from this one I will go to its all four directions and that's how I will traverse this whole one and mark it zero in the one traversal in the one traversal so, so I can say uh, this is my one DFS traversal okay so this will be my one DFS traversal and as I have marked all of this as zero now I can go to in other so I will go and I will check this is 1. So I will mark it this 0 and in the last traversal I will mark this 3. So how many traversal I need for this uh, that is 3. So I will return 3. So now let's code it and while coding I will explain you the logic and you will able to understand the better logic while uh, seeing the code. So here uh, we have a amp cross and grid. So let me just take amp is equals to our grid size. And this and is our column size. So how to take column? Uh, I can say this. Now um, what I am going to do is I will traverse all uh, over the grid. Now if I find uh, this cell is a land, then what I have to do? I have to do a DFS traversal. Now uh, let's write a DFS function to understand uh, how this DFS function works. Basically uh, for DFS what is our aim? Our aim will be uh, to mark all the four adjacent elements as zero. Yeah. So we will mark current land as a water. Now after that we have to go to all the four directions. How to go to all the four directions? Let's uh, take a four direction. Now here we have to just check the boundary condition what will happen if I increment and if I go to left 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 it can be go uh, from here if you see here uh, in this example from here it's from this one if I go to left I will read this from this one if I go to again left then I will go to out of boundary so I have to check this boundary condition here so what will be my boundary condition my i or j should not be less than 0 and should not be greater than m uh, command. And the one more condition that is remaining is if my current cell is already water then I do not have to make that un again water. So in that case also I will return. Now the only thing is remaining is uh, while we are making this DFS call we have to increment number of islands. And finally we will return this island. So now let's uh, try to run this code. 
uh, over several test period. Oh, a silly mistake. Uh, that will be n equals to zero. Yeah, it works fine. Uh, let's check for all the examples. Yeah, it works fine. Uh, let's submit this. Yeah, you can uh, see that I have solved this problem two years back, then one year back. Okay. So yeah, um, this is done. So I hope you are able to understand this problem. If this video helped you, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I will meet you in the next video.